Hello, I'm Samir from the FTC Team 4855 Batteries in Black, and I'm going to talk to you about programming with the FTC SDK for Android and Java. So, why did FIRST decide to replace the NXT system with Android? Well, it's because NXT was being discontinued by LEGO in favor of their newer EV3 system. So what is Android? Android is an operating system used on various mobile phones, tablets, wearables, televisions, and cars, each with its own different hardware configuration. NXT, however, had one device with one hardware configuration. Despite the variety of Android devices, we're going to be allowed only to use either the ZTE Speed or the second generation version of the Motorola Moto G. Android uses Java for programming, whereas NXT could use either Robot C or LabVIEW. Android will be programmed using Android Studio in our tutorials, but teams who want to use a drag and drop interface with Android MIT App Inventor will be allowed to use that too. I'm now going to compare and contrast Java and Robot C. Java is an object-oriented programming language, whereas Robot C is imperative programming language. By the way, it's also called OOP. And basically, well, I'm not going to get into the differences right now, but we're going to discuss this in a later video, and it is very important. They both use syntax based off of C, the programming language C, but they're still both quite different, partially because uh, Java is object-oriented, and you can't expect to write a line of code in Robot C and have it work in Java. Some code might work, but a lot of code won't. Java is an interpreted programming language, whereas Robot C is compiled. And what that means is, well, it doesn't really have anything to do with the language, but it has to do with their compilers. What a compiler tries to do is it takes your code and converts it into native code. And native code is code that can be run and understood by your computer. And let's say I have my native code, then I'll run that and my computer program will work. But interpreted languages right here have this extra step with the interpreter. And I'm going to use Java as an example now. Let's say I have this line of Java code, which is also val a valid line of robot C code. So my compiler, the Java compiler, which is this little arrow, We'll convert it into Java bytecode, which can be understood by Java's interpreter, which is known as the JVM, or Java Virtual Machine. And the JVM will then convert it into whatever type of native code is valid for my system. And this solves the problem of because this solves the problem because each program each system has its own native. So Windows has one, OS X has one etc. The list goes on. Linux, Android, iOS, every operating system has its own type of native code. And compiled languages, however, compile it directly into native code. But, so, since, let's say I want to share my Java program. I'll put the bytecode on the internet, and then everyone with the interpreter will be able to run my code. That's why sometimes if you want to run a Java program, I have to download Java. But what I'm not, I'm really downloading the interpreter, or I'm downloading the JVM. And then, so I can write the code, and I can run it anywhere that has the interpreter installed. However, for compiled languages, I have to recompile it for each platform, the native code for each platform. And I'll put the native code for Windows on the internet, I'll put the native code for OS X on the internet, etc., etc. And I, uh, but the thing is, they don't have to install an interpreter. And the biggest difference is that it is much faster than interpreted languages because you don't have to take this extra step of converting the interpreter code into native code. So earlier I said we're going to be learning about programming with the FTC SDK for Android and Java. So what is an SDK? Well, it stands for Software Development Kit. And what that means is that it's a library. Not a library of books, but a library of code. And in addition to this library, it also contains tools and sample code and um, documentation to help you get started. The FTC SDK is used for programming FTC robots using Android, and you can download a beta version of this SDK here. 
Just remember that it's a beta version and not the main release, and when that comes out you should use that and not the beta. Now I will share some helpful links. This is the FTC game page. It contains the game manuals part 1 and 2 when they come out, which outline the rules and restrictions for this year's challenge. When the inspector sheets come out, you'll be able to read them here, and the game manual part 1 has currently been released. Like I said, you can download the FTC beta SDK in this link, and I'd also recommend reading the FTC technology page, which outlines some FAQ questions about the new Android technology, and also provides a link to the FTC technology forums. All of these links will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. Watch our future tutorials on YouTube when they come out, and we also we're also on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.